Hello, this is RR from FinSuite, and in this video, we go over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. And this video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can create a CMS in Webflow from scratch. I recommend that you go ahead and break out your computer, follow along the steps so that you're able to create that CMS with us. And this CMS will be the one that you're gonna use as we go over the different tools so that you're able to implement and use them yourself. Let's go create a CMS together. So we'll go ahead and get started by going to webflow.com. And the first thing we do is go ahead and click the login button. So we'll click that in the top right hand side and then input our username and our password if you've never tried webflow i encourage you to go ahead and create your own account the best way to learn especially this section right here the best way to learn is to do it as you're watching this video and put your username put your password go ahead and click log in we have our dashboard here where we have all of the projects that you have these are just some of the projects that i've worked on or i am currently working on uh, we're going to go ahead and start a new project so go to the top right hand side and click new project right there you have all these templates that you can use um uh, there's some that are uh, free there's some that you have to pay for but we're going to go ahead and um, start with a blank site okay and we'll click that right there we're going to name this the finsuite cms library for webflow and then go ahead and click create project and now what webflow does is it sets up your website gets it all ready to go so that you can start creating your masterpiece and in this the webflow designer we have all these things that we can do all these elements that we can add and the styling tools there on the right hand side now the first thing before we add anything onto the canvas we're first of all going to create our cms collection Okay, and then what we do for that is we're going to go here on the left side and this part right here where it's three circles, that's the official logo for CMS. As you can see, it says it right there. So go ahead and click that. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a CMS collection. And the first thing we want to create our first collection, click this button right here. And now we have our collection. We're going to name this collection, or we're going to call it the Fin Suite Products for Webflow. We're going to create a collection of about uh, seven items, which is actually a uh, the products that Fin Suite has for Webflow. And um, I want I encourage you to check out these products that you can really take your Webflow website to the next level and make it, as we say, effing sweet, right? So we're gonna go ahead and make this collection right here, and we're gonna go ahead and add the fields that we wanna input. We're gonna add three fields. We're gonna add a name, which we already have. We're gonna have a description, and then we're gonna have an image. So now that we have that, we already have our name here. You can click that and edit that. If you wanna change it, say to title, you're able to do that. Um, and you, you can even add some text here, which can say this is uh, the title of the product. Or you could even put, um, please input the title of the product. And then whoever's going to be updating the CMS, they can go ahead and look at the description, look at the help text, and understand what is going to be done here. Okay, so we're going to call this title. And then we're going to go ahead and save this field. Now, the slug, that is pretty much kind of the link. Um, you can go ahead and leave that blank. If you leave that, um, what's, it, what's it going to do is it's going to add, make the file name, uh, usually whatever is the title name, okay? And which is a lot of times the easiest thing to do. Now, we're going to add two fields here. We already have our title, so we're going to add the description. And then we're going to go ahead and add the image, okay? So we're going to add here a description. And so we're going to put um, plain text, and then we're going to call this description. Now, do we want single line or do we want multiple line? Judging from what we need, we may need multiple lines. So we're going to go ahead and click multiple line. 
we can have a minimum character count. We can have a maximum character count. It's really up to you. And you could even put a require. You can make it that the field is required. So we'll go ahead and click that. We're going to require that. We're not going to put a minimum character count or maximum character character count. And we're going to go ahead and save field. And then we'll add one more, which is the image. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and click click the image, the right here. And we're going to call this uh, product image and we're going to require this as well save field and then that's it go ahead and click create collection and you have your collection easy as that now you can add some sample items you can add 5 10 or 20 we're not we're going to bypass that we're not going to do that because i'm going to go ahead and add the products that we have we have a list there okay so i'm going to show you how we add one product and then we're kind of just going to fast forward the rest. OK, so go ahead and click the plus button right here, the blue button, new FinSuite products for Webflow. And this is a CMS item. So the whole thing is the collection and each um, uh, each thing that you add is a CMS item. OK, now the title for this one, our first product is called Class Adder for Webflow Interaction. So we're going to go ahead and, and put that there. As you can see, it creates an automatic slug based on the title. I feel like that's the best way to go ahead and just leave it like that. If you want to do other things, that's totally fine. Um, especially like uh, this is helpful when you do blogs or things like that. Just have that title there. Now the description, we have it right here. Um, learn. Um, we're going to copy this one. Put it right here. And then we're going to add an image here. It's actually going to be... Uh, this image right here. So we're going to go ahead and I forgot to save it. So let me go ahead and download this product real quick here. And then we're going to go ahead and add this product right here. It uploads the product and then we'll go ahead and click create. And now you've went ahead and added your first item. Now I'm going to go ahead and add all these items and then we'll get back to you so now that we've created our cms items it's time for us to go ahead and apply this on the page i went ahead and added all the finsuite products um, instead of having to show you every single one and we went ahead and put that in i just pretty much repeated the same process with different titles different descriptions and different images so let's go ahead and go back to the page here and now that we have our page, we're going to go ahead and build out our CMS into the Webflow website. And we'll go to our elements here. And the first thing we're going to do, go to the plus button, add elements, and go ahead and do a section. Let's grab this section and drag this over here. And it's a good practice to um, make sure you name your sections and your classes, add class names on them. It's always good practice to have. So I'm going to go ahead and call this section. Very simple. And we're going to go ahead and put a container inside this as well. Now with this section, I'm going to um, add a padding on top and on the bottom just so we can have some spacing on the top and bottom. So we're going to do 100 there and 100 here as well. Now, let's go and add a container inside it. Um, I usually would like to put a container, but we're going to go ahead and put a div block instead of a container. And we're going to go ahead and set a, um, a, a width with it. Now, you could actually do that with a container as well. You could just put max width, but we'll go ahead and do this uh, with a div block. And we're going to call this container. Okay. Now, this one, we're going to make the margin on the left auto. The margin on the right auto so that it's always in the middle and the container we're going to make the max width into 1200 pixels so it doesn't get larger than 1200 pixels and there you have it now now we are ready to put our cms collection inside this container go back to add elements and go to where it says collection list grab that drag it Put it right on the container and then as you can see it's starting to create our collection 
list wrapper. Now, we're gonna, we have to determine the source. Now, the source is the CMS collection that we just made, right? So I'll go ahead and click that source and then click FinSuite products for Webflow. And there you go. Here are the seven items that we created. You can change the layout. You can make it all in a row. You can put six item columns, four columns, three columns, two columns. You're also able to do this like really custom. But for this one, we're going to make it three columns so that we have three rows. OK, and we're going to go ahead and set it like that. Now, what we're going to do, as you can see, here are the stuff inside it. Now, in this, in the last one, we're going to add a div block inside, and you'll see later why, okay? Because I want to be able to customize it even more myself, so adding a div block inside helps it out. So we're going to name this div block FinSuite Product Box, okay? And in this div block, we're going to put our CMS collection items. Now, you're going to see something pretty cool. Once I add an item and set the source, it adds it on every single, uh, every other thing as well. So instead of me having to create one thing at a time, it goes ahead, it, it goes ahead and makes everything else, and it uh, updates as you update the CMS collection. So in this one, the first thing we're gonna do is add an image. Remember, we put an image in our CMS collection item. So we're gonna add an image here, and instead of choosing an image we're going to get the image from the cms collection click stack field and then click product image and there you go as you notice we now have the seven images that we added um i'm going to add a little bit of shadow so that's just a little bit nicer and put some uh, margin on the bottom so let's put like a 20 pixel margin on the bottom and add a little bit of shadows in there so uh, let's make it not too dark a little bit light 20 opacity and let's make it a farther distance a bigger blur and that that looks about that looks about right there you go just subtle shadow okay and then what we're gonna do now we're gonna add the title so we'll go back to add elements click heading and then we're gonna put it right under this image okay so we'll put it right right there now that we have that we're gonna go ahead and set the source so to get text click that checkbox select the field and then it was title and there you go. There is our uh, title for these products. Now, I personally don't like the font, so I'm going to go ahead and change it a bit. Uh, I think I'm going to change it to EXO. Okay. Um, and then the size, let's make it a little bit smaller, maybe 32. Um, with a height of 44 is actually pretty good. I feel like the image margin on the bottom is a little too much so let's make it 10 pixels actually we'll make it zero because heading actually automatically adds margin on top As you can see it already, already added a 20 pixel on top so we'll just go ahead and leave it as that okay and then we're going to add the description text so go ahead and go to add elements again and then go to paragraph we'll put it right under heading and then Click the checkbox and get the text from description. And then um, we're, we'll change the font a bit again. Make it, uh, let's make it Montserrat. Okay. And let's make it a little bigger 16 pixels with a 26 pixel um, line height. And there you go. Now we have our items. Now I don't like how it's laid out right now. It's kind of all over the place. We want to make it a nice grid. And what we're going to do, and that's why we made it its own div, so that we're able to customize it fairly well, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and click this div block, the FinSuite product box. And we're going to make the minimum height 550 pixels. And there you go. This is about a good height that everything is... Um, all aligned actually it may be a little too high so we could probably make it a little bit lower let's make it around 450 no let's make it right in the middle 
500 split the difference and we're going to go ahead and also add a couple things what we're going to do here is we're going to add a padding okay we're going to add a padding inside this so that's not all the way to the edge because i want to put some border so why don't we do that let's add a border on this so that it looks separated a black simple one pixel black border now you see how this looks it doesn't look that good right so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um uh do this fin suite uh product actually so i'm sorry we're not going to have the border on this one. We're actually going to put it on this one instead, but we'll show you that later on. So we'll go ahead and do this fin suite uh, product right here. And first of all, the items inside, it's a little too, uh, it's a little too dense uh, for our liking. So let's add a padding of 20 pixels on the, um, in the left, 20 pixels on the right, 20 pixels on top and 20 pixels on the bottom. So now that we've added 20 padding inside our div block, which is FinSuite product box, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a, uh, a line border all around, which is a black border. Now, as you can see, I personally don't like how it's stuck together in the bottom. Well, that's why we wanted to make our own div block. So then we could just put a margin on the bottom of say 20 pixels. And there you go. Now we have a pretty nicely aligned um, CMS collection item on this. And you're able to do other things like pagination, limit, and all these things, which we're going to go over on the next videos. Now that we've created our CMS, we are now ready to implement the tools that are in our arsenal in the FN Suite CMS library for Webflow. On the next video, we're gonna go through an overview of the different tools and how you can use them on your next CMS website. That's FN Suite.